Hello there, it's Galen. I'm here today representing Unity Stamp Company. Uh, today I'm going to show you a, a fun way to incorporate a quilt look to a card um, and specifically a top border for a card. I'm using stamps by Ann Butler Designs with Unity and this set is background builders strips set one and strips set two and um, also I'm using gather love stamp set it's the March 2019 kit of the month I'm using the sentiment and the heart out of that kit I'm also using some white satin ribbon Versamark ink and archival ink in a light, light green color. I'm also using an, an envelope that I'm going to stamp on. I have foam tape, white embossing powder. I'm using the original Misty for the stamping. Um, line, I line, I pre-lined up the um, border stamps uh, one strip at a time to get the pattern I want. And I also added to the Misty uh, the sentiment and the hearts and I'm stamping them all at the same time with two passes using Versamark watermark ink and um, I pushed a little harder this time because uh, I wanted to make sure I got all the nooks and crannies of these strip, strips uh, and get them nicely inked so that I can add some white embossing powder I make sure I coat it really good because almost the whole front card front is going to be heat embossed. Next, I use a very narrow paintbrush to remove any excess embossing powder. Um, if you heat emboss and you have stray powder on the card, anything where the stray powder is, is going to be embossed as well. So it will show up. So to eliminate that, just gently, uh, just gently brush away any stray uh, powder then heat emboss it carefully and it it's it's hard to see in the picture but it has a shine to it after you heat emboss it and it's slightly raised now i'm going to stamp the envelope and i'm carefully laying the um, strip pieces uh, where i want them on the side of the envelope now these are designed by ann butler the concept of her stamps with Unity is that there is no lip on the sides of the stamps. Uh, the stamp is designed to fit together like puzzle pieces and it makes it easy to create a variety of patterns. Uh, you can do quilt styles, you can just lay them, you can use them as a border. Um, Ann Butler has a lot of different shapes available at Unity. And these are specifically strip, strip uh, sets uh, in different patterns. So I am doing two passes with the Misty on the envelope as well. I didn't match the ink exactly to the cardstock that I used, but it's close enough to give the idea of that quilt look. Now I'm adding a a ribbon with a knot in the middle of it, and I'm going to adhere that to the stamped background panel. I just added flat double-sided tape to the back, and I, I just adhered the ribbon down and trimmed away any excess. Uh, I also added some foam tape to this back panel to um, have it uh, lift up a little bit from the card base. I use Nina 110 pound solar white card base and I score it in the middle with a scoring board. Now I'm adding uh, some adhesive gems. I'd like to use a tweezer for that. It picks up small items easy and sticks them on there nicely. And there you have it. You have the card and the coordinating envelope all ready to send. I hope you like this tutorial. Take a moment to like and follow me. 
Have a great day.